full-time fearless ones. So when Ned and I were living in Atlanta, Ned, my late husband, we were restoring a very old house in Little Five Points, and we had a restoration carpenter who came over late one afternoon to talk with us, and he brought his young son with him. Now our little house was in such funky shape, the plaster was peeling off the walls, that in the dining room where we were sitting to talk to this restoration car uh, carpenter, we encouraged our friends, and particularly our friends the small children, to draw and paint on the walls. But here is this young son that has grown up in a house where everything was meticulously restored. So I hand Jason this big bucket, like a sheetrock bucket, that has all kinds of crayons and markers in it. And I say, hey Jason, you want to paint on the wall while your dad and, and us talk? And Jason looks at the bucket, he looks at his dad, and he looks at the bucket, and he looks at the wall. And his father says, Jason, it's okay here. On this wall, it's okay to draw. Jason looks longingly at the bucket, looks at the wall, and I can see that the idea of this freedom is too much for him. And so I snatch up one of the markers from the sheetrock bucket, and I squat down on the wall so I'm low enough, Jason's, and I draw a big box, a big square, and on top of it I write, J son, I'm spelling it at J A S, Jason's box. And I said, why don't you just draw inside of that box? And Jason very happily picks up the bucket of crayons and walks over and begins drawing. And as we talk, he continues drawing, and eventually he draws outside the line. Why do we use practices and forms? Silly ones like fan mail and hate mail and acrostics, more serious and moving ones like the sacred list. Well, first of all, all practice is good. But secondly, to write about the world is too vast a wall in a world where we don't paint on walls. A form gives you a small, it gives you your Jason's box. It gives you a place to work within with some sense of uh, not limits, not exactly safety, but something like that. You're in an enclosed space where you can be playful. A lot of our practices are deliberately silly, because if you're silly, you're not make, you don't have to make sense. There's no way to do it wrong. So give yourself the box. Eventually, you can bring in things from all the whole world to put inside it. Eventually, you can go outside the line. But give yourself that box. In other words, if you want to write big and play big and have a vast subject, start small. Let it grow from there. Much easier to go from small to big than to try to take the whole thing in. Thanks.